Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel 3 Dust. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up print area inside AutoCAD. So here you can see on your screen that this is my AutoCAD drawing that I had opened. So this drawing has been created inside model space. So here you can see. And many of us are creating drawing inside model space only. And now I'm going to show you how you can uh, plot this uh, drawing in, in the right scale onto your paper or you can be able to convert this drawing into PDF in a right scale. So how, what is the exact process? So here you can see this is my layout of space. Using this layout of space, you can uh, convert your drawing, uh, you can plot your drawing, you can prepare your drawing to print uh, in a right scale. So uh, right now by default, there is one single layout you will be able to see on your AutoCAD by default. If you want to add more layouts, you can just click on adding and you'll be able to multiple layouts inside any of your drawing. So I will just delete uh, these two for now because we are going to show you just for the one layout. And here you can see uh, I just got two layouts. So uh, what I will first do is first I am going to rename these layouts because uh, today I am going to show you how we can plot our drawings on two different paper sizes that is for A2 paper size and the A1 paper size. So I will just make a right click on any of the thing and will rename it first I will give it a name A2 and the second one I will give it a name A1 here you can see. And these are my two paper spaces that I had created and uh, right now my drawing is you created inside model space only and if I go to my layout space here you can see uh, the nothing is visible so by default there is a, a space here that I'm going to delete so I will just drag it like this will select everything and will press delete on my keyboard so here you can see this is my paper size right now so this is not correct so we had to first set up the paper size here so this white area is the paper size so I will just make a right click on here and here it, you can see the page setup manager so I will just activate this page setup manager tool and here you can see this is for this particular layout I will go on to the modify from here and here you can see now uh, I will make sure that this setting is uh, uh, selected here as the TWZ to PDF and here I have to select the correct paper size based on the thing that we are selecting so right now we are selecting a2 paper size so i'm going to select this one so here you can see the paper orientation as well so right now it is in landscape mode and if i want to change that to portrait i can do that but i will keep it as a landscape mode here you can see and what to plot here i will keep here as a layout because uh, we are into layout space right now and the scale i will always keep as a uh, one is to one scale so I will just change here as to one is to one here and here you can see and I will make sure that uh, what are the plot options we want to select uh, we had to select whether we want to uh, activate the plot style or the plot transparency but I always uh, recommend you to keep this everything default and then we got the plot style here if you want to print your drawing in a printing your drawing in a, a black and white printer then I will always recommend you to select the monochrome CTB or if you are using the color printer then just just keep it as none because whatever the colors you had selected on your drawing it will able to take so I will just press ok to accept the result and here you can see the page size got updated so uh, since we had selected the right paper space the page size got uh, updated so this is for the A2 paper size and the next thing that we had to insert our uh, space that uh, that we want to cover on the paper so that we can do using the MV command so I will just write MV so here you can see MV I will just activate the MV tool then it is asking me to specify the corner I had to specify the two corners uh, of the paper that we want to cover so here I will just click on the fit here I just want to cover the whole page so I will just act click on the fit and here you can see the MV has been activated for the complete page so this is my MV space and now I will just double click on here to go inside this and I will just press uh, zoom all here you can see and if I want to adjust I can set just zoom in here uh, mm -hmm. if I want to print this particular area here you can see and from here we can control our scale as well let's say I want to take a scale of 1 is to 10 so I will just change 1 is to 10 or maybe uh, 1 is to 50 uh, I think it is getting more smaller so I will go on to the uh, opposite direction scale I think 10 is to 1 is working and if you if you are not seeing the right scale over here then what you can do uh, you, you can just go on to the custom over here and you can create a new scale so here you can see I'm going to add new scale over here so I'm just going to write uh, uh, 15 is to 1 and I will give it a name 15 is to 1 and here you can see I will press ok to save the result then we will make sure that that is selected and will press ok to activate that and then I will come over here and I will select my new scale that I had just created just now 15 is to 1 and here you can see the, the things are getting updated and when you feel you can also adjust these things using your pan tool you can move these things around but the scale will remain 
same so whenever you are seeing that the scale is changing you just have to come over here and select the right scale again and again and when you are happy with the result you can just press here to lock the viewport so this way i just locked this viewport then i can just come outside and just double click anywhere outside on this gray area and will come outside of that so here you can see my particular uh, space is now ready to print um, uh, i had just uh, adjusted it to print on the right scale so this scale is right now if i select that uh, here you can see it is giving me a preview here that my scale is 15 uh, is to 1 for my viewport so this way we can do if now i press ctrl p and uh, i will just press no here and here you can see uh, it is automatically taking dwg to pdf since we had selected for for this a2 paper size we had selected this settings and if i want to see the preview if i click on the preview here you can see this this is this is how it will look going to look on my A2 paper size. So this way you can set up your things uh, inside AutoCAD. Uh, so you will be able to print your AutoCAD drawing in the right scale or in the right uh, right way. Uh, also, let's do it for A1 paper size. We will repeat the same process. We will uh, activate this layout space first. Then we will right click and click on the page setup manager. And uh, what we can do, uh, the other way is to, uh, the other way to do is just we can do quickly is that just first delete this one i have just deleted this one and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make this copy of this layout space so i will just click on the move copy i will make sure that i have clicked here to create a copy and will press ok so here you can see the copy has been created then i will rename this one as a1 and we'll press enter then we'll activate that particular area and we'll go on to uh, page setup manager so here you can see i will go on to i will select that particular layout space and we'll click on the modify and here you can see i just have to change the paper size to a1 so i will just select the paper size to a1 and rest of the settings i will keep as it is and we'll press ok to accept and we'll click on close here you can see the paper size got updated but still we need to uh, redefine this uh, viewport so i will delete this one for now again i will repeat the command mv command and will press enter then will select fit here and it got fitted then i will just double click on that that to go into that particular viewport and then i will uh, select my scale here you can see this is this was the scale that we had created and we'll able to pan this drawing like this so here you can see this time i'm getting the details like this even you will able to put your title block over here uh, you just have to copy your title block come over to this layout space and you're able to put paste your uh, title block and scale your title block up to this print area and if i just double click outside here you can see i'm just outside if i select this viewport i am able to see the scale and i'm able to also lock this viewport here you can see so this way i can do this and now if i press ctrl p on my keyboard and uh, if i press no here here you can see continue to plot a single sheet and here you can see it is give, already giving me a default value with the a1 paper size in the in 1 is to 15 15 is to 1 scale and if i want to see the preview i am able to see the preview and if i make a plot from here i am able to convert that particular drawing to pdf and uh, i can save on wherever i want to save so this way you can uh, set up your uh, drawings inside AutoCAD to print in a right scale. So I hope the information was helpful for you. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.